Good evening, fellow Aquanauts. Jesus, this light sucks. Is there any better lighting in my house? No. Um, it's Wednesday. DFTV. Hey. So we are talking about time travel paradoxes and stuff. And well, the interesting thing about this particular paradox that we are talking about, the... What's this paradox fucking called again? Mm, shit, fuck. Ontological paradox. I mean, the interesting thing about this for me is that even though this object reoccurs continually over and over again, the assumption that it was never created is a bit of a misnomer. I mean, it's not entirely true. Just because it keeps on moving its way through history does not mean that at some point it was not created. And that would mean, theoretically, of course, that there is kind of a, a singular time point from which it starts moves here and then goes back in time and kind of comes back around itself. Like this. Anyway, going on to time travel forwards. Interestingly enough, I know this isn't, you know, this isn't ontological paradox. And as a result, it's not strictly what we're talking about this week. But trying time travel forwards can be achieved. What you need to do is get really, really, really close to the speed of light. Like, as close as possible. And what happens is that time travel, f or the, the speed of time for you, is slowed down in comparison to the people that are observing you. So, it's just... It's kind of like, you know how when you're in a car and there, say there's a fly going around in the car. The fly is going around at like two kilometers an hour, right? Like it's not going very quickly inside of a 50 kilometer per hour vehicle. So really it's going 52 kilometers per hour forward, but it's only actually going two kilometers per hour. You kind of, kind of understand what I'm talking about because like, you can kind of throw a ball at at your at the back of your sister's head or something, right? Not that I have personal experience, but you know, inside of a car, and it's not going to you know, kind of throw it and come back and hit you in the face because inside of that vehicle, space and time are different. Surprisingly enough, but because of this. You're, you're going really, really quickly to the people outside, but you're not going quickly inside of the vehicle that you're going quick inside in, right? So you'll have been traveling for 10 minutes in your time, but in the outside time, you'll have been going much faster. Or sorry, you'll, be, you'll have been traveling for much longer, which is really weird and cool. But it's because space does this. It, it do, it's not flat. It's curvy. And so is time. It's all curvy. And wibbly wobbly and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and stop getting too brain nerdy. Uh, to the rest of you awkward nuts, I'll see you on Wednesday. Cat, I will see you tomorrow, will I not? Hopefully, I hope I do. I've missed your face. DFTBA.